Welcome, this is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. Today I have with me a Mongoose and Snake Drag Race set with famous Mongoose and Snake miniature funny cars. Let's hope they're inside. This was made by Hot Wheels and Mongoose has trademark and Snake has trademark because I believe these are actual race cars. As you can see, in the diagram, actually it's the it's a picture photo box of the snake and the mandu, mongoose side by side. And I imagine this is uh McHughes and and uh Don Prudhomme, I recognize that name, and Tom McHugh and, and I used to read Hot Rod magazine as a kid, and I recognize those names. But I honestly don't remember these cars. I used to like the hot rods with the big engines in the front sticking out. These don't have that, so I probably didn't look at them. But they had big engines in them for sure. Here's a picture of the models. And um, that's Don Prudhomme, Tom McEwen. And they're miniature funny cars. And uh, what's interesting about this is that, uh, you know, they have some of the same markings um, on the top that you would associate with maybe a, a, a flag of past days. Some might say that um, saluting the Southern heritage, which is fine by me. Um, Hot Wheels, fastest metal cars in the world. Rip from the start gate. Loop the loops, winner drops flag, pop the drag shoots. Well, that's a lot to be in this box. Um, certainly it has great graphics and will make an addition, a great addition to anybody's Redline Hot Wheels collection. Um, I once had about probably four dozen mint Hot Wheels in one or two collector boxes. And one year in the mid eighties, I decided to sell them for $18 each. Um, that was a good decision at the time. But um, this one uh, has a date, 1969, Hawthorne, California. Hot Wheels, Mongoose, Duster Car. Hot Wheels, Snake, Barracuda. Two matching Hot Wheel collector's buttons. Let's see if that's in there. Start gate with tripper. Finish gate with automatic flag. Two daredevil loops. Two brake traps. Four drag chute brakes. 32 feet of hot strip track. 12 joiners. Universal clamp, international collector's catalog. That would be nice. Layout instructions. And here's a little write-up about um, Don Snake Boudon and Tom Mongoose McEwen, top professional drag racers. Complete layout instructions included. Well, why don't we see what's inside? So, um, looks like this is where <clears throat> someone attempted to tape up this box. And it wasn't done too long ago, in my opinion. Um, I'm not going to try to peel it off right now because I'm going to use a heat gun and then I'm going to get behind this with some um, contact cement and a piece of similar, you know, uh, paper cardboard and reinforce that so it there's, you know, um, little chance for it getting worse. But um, that's what came... With the box is some sloppy tape work. So let's see. I'm going to try to take this out without destroying everything else on the table here. And um, I, I do see here that there is a cardboard insert. Let's look inside. Yeah, there's a cardboard insert. So that's a good sign. Um, here's something here. Oh, this is a this is a decal. This is probably. A very important decal for one of the cards. We'll put that right down here next to my card. 1-800-OLD-TOYS. I could be reached at that phone number. Or you could email me pictures or questions at oldtoys at yahoo.com. So, without further ado, I'll carefully reach in. And... F oh, it's starting to slide, but there's something blocking it. Uh, this flap is still inside. So let me see. Yeah, you see? It's always a problem doing things carefully. You don't want to be 
um, in a rush when you're doing this because you don't want to damage anything. So let me see if I can get this. No, I can't get this behind. So I'm going to have to um, finagle my way through this. There you go. So that flap, well, flaps are open now. That's good. Let me grab the insert. Try to pull it out slowly. Here it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the box out of the sleeve. Oh, there's one car. It looks like there's only one car in its original placeholder, and there's nothing else in the box. So let's put this behind here and see what we have. Let's turn this box around, and maybe we could figure out what's missing together. So this looks like it would be the layout instructions. Um, yeah, this is the layout instruction. There's a little Johnny playing with his Hot Wheels, Daredevil Loop. Funny cars have flip top bodies for driver's entrance and quick repairs. Let's see. So this is the instructions. We'll put this over here. Um, and this is the, what we saw already was one of the decal sheets. So let's pull this closer. I think this might lift up. So there we have a very, very nice red line Hot Wheel. That is minty mint, no decals, which is good and bad. It's good because the car isn't, you know, um, accessorized with um, ugly worn out decals. It's bad because we don't know if we have the decals yet, but that is a beautiful car. Look at that. So I don't know how it's held in. But it doesn't seem, it seems like there's a rubber band there. And it looks like it's looped around the wheel. So I'm not even going to take that out. Because you don't want to upset anything that is original packaging. So let me flip that over carefully. Um, and let's see what else is in here. So we know that we're missing a lot of pieces. Um... And, and we're going to use the list to find out what we have and, and what we're missing. So, so here is one button. It tells Hot Wheel button. It's uh, in very good condition, unbent. And um, I don't know what this is worth, but I'm sure it's something that people are desperately looking for, especially in this condition. Here is the 1970 International Collector's Catalog. This is a great, a great book, great reference. I remember peering at these booklets, um, including for Hot Wheels and Matchbox when I was a kid. And uh, they just really brings back some good memories. Oh, wouldn't it be nice to have all those vehicles? Minty, minty. Oh boy. Put that over here. And here, we have a bag with flags in it. Now, what's important about this chute, it's actually a chute, is that it is in a sealed bag, which means it was never used. And based upon what I've seen so far, nothing in here has been ever used, which is wonderful. Let's hope there's another car down here. Here's another chute. Um, what do we have here? Oh, wow. Here's... Tom McEwen, the Mongoose decal sheet. This has got to be worth a lot of money. To have this decal sheet is better than having the decals on the car. Let's put that here and hope there's another. Let's see, what's this? Oh, here's another matching sticker sheet or water slide sheet. So now we have two of those. I'm going to put that under this decal sheet. Put this button under here. Put this chute here and here. And here is another. Oh, this is great. Don Prudhomme, the snake, Tom McEwen. We got both decal sheets for the cars. 
That is wonderful. It is much easier to find the cars than it is the decal sheets. These decal sheets and these buttons and these shoots, I would bet you, are probably worth a pretty penny individually. Let's see what this is. Well, this looks like the, uh, the finished flags. Again, all of these decal sheets, the shoots, the button, everything is unused. I would venture to say that this set has never been played with. But what happened to the other car? Let's see. This looks like, I don't remember what this is. <laughs> Put this over here. This looks like start, it says start. That's cool. Oh, here's another shoot. Why would there be three shoots in one, one box? I guess it was a mispack, huh? Well, if they only mispacked more than one car, um, here is what I venture to say is the finish line. Yep, trip the finish line. So we're doing pretty good here. What we that we what we haven't found is the second car and the second um, collector's button. Well, here is the loop de loop, and look at that. Here is the collector's button, unbent, beautiful condition. Just the decal sheets and the buttons and the shoots for this set is probably a majority of the value here right now, aside from the car. Now, I wish there was another car in here, but I got to tell you, folks, I don't, I don't think I see one. I haven't, I haven't inspected the inside of this prior to this video. Now, what is this? This is a Mattel toy maker. And that's what it is. Mattel toy maker. Looks like it's a card. Of course, it won't open. It's been closed for 50 years or whatever. Registration card. To be filled out by a parent or other adult member of the family. So, kids, you couldn't do it. It must be mailed within 30 days from the date of purchase. So, your Mattel toy will be registered in accordance with the warranty. I wonder what the warranty was. Built and tested 90 days due to factory imperfections. Well, you know, this particular set came from a um, long, long closed uh, five and dime. And I bet you that the reason why this was there is because someone went in the box and snatched one of the cars. So I guess the, um, the question is, um, you know, what, what happened to the other car? Somebody's probably playing with it somewhere. They, they didn't take the sticker sheet. Here's another shoot. I don't know. It looks as though that this is, uh, this set was either poorly packed or someone um, took a couple of sets apart, took a couple of cars, put everything back in boxes, didn't care where they went, and um, sat in the shelf for 40, 50 years, and here it is. I don't know what these are, but they're probably part of the kit. We've got all the track. Doesn't look like the track, um, you know, uh, was used at all. Um, got the joiners still in the original rubber bands. And we got this uh, to attach the start gate. So, unfortunately, what we are missing is one vehicle. Now, I would imagine that there are vehicles out there that are looking for new homes. And if someone was willing to pay for one, um, they could easily get it. And that vehicle could be steamed to remove the stickers and placed in a rubber band of similar nature to the existing rubber bands here and put back in this box. The box could be repaired, okay? And essentially what you have is a unused mint in box with a C8 box, C7 box, a Redline Hot Wheels Mongoose and Snake Drag Race set. Now, how cool is that? With everything, the International Collector's Catalog, the two shoots, the two collector pins, which I'm going to put in here, the decal sheets for each, the mongoose and the snake. Okay, so if I'm careful, you know, a uh, side note about these decal sheets, um, many model kits, including boats, um, which um, still exist today from a long time ago, if the decal sheets are damaged or unusable, 
the model kit's worth nothing. Um, I don't know uh, if that's the case with this mongoose and snake drag set because certainly people would want the cars, they would want the graphics. Here's the warranty card. Here's the instructions. Okay, here is the finish line. And here is the car de la resistance. Okay, so somebody went in here and took one of the cars, okay, put everything back and decided that it was going to sit on the shelf. So here we have John McEwen's Mongoose in mint condition in a factory original box with two extra chutes waiting for his opponent to show up to race again. This is Jim from 1-800-OLD-TOYS. I have a large toy collection and many toys I've just purchased that I will be showcasing here on my YouTube channel at 1-800-TOYS.COM. If you have a question, you can call me at 1-800-OLD-TOYS or you can email me at oldtoys at yahoo.com. Thank you and enjoy the hunt.